It's so easy to travel to Scotland nowadays, and by rail, by road and by aeroplane, more people are going there. B.B. from Norway, Alison from New Zealand, and Trina from Britain are bound for Aviemore at the foot of the Cairngorm Mountains, where a big experiment in all the year-round holidays is being made. Offering the promise of rest, relaxation and sport of all kinds, it's called the Centre. It is a complex of buildings dedicated to those with hard-earned leisure hours to fill. It has been provided as a service for local people and visitors alike providing amenities which could otherwise only be found in the larger cities. And so, for these girls, there is the promise of a complete holiday in... The centre contains within itself two hotels of international standard, each with the luxury and facilities which an open-air holiday demands. And for those whose budgets are more restricted, there are four berth chalets, ideally suited to a family holiday or to the needs of the younger generation. Certainly, B.B., Alison and Trina seem happy enough. Shops, a bank and ski schools are all integral parts of the 70-acre design, and information about Highland activities is charmingly available. For the local residents, what's on at the centre has become a matter of high importance. The pool, maintained at a comfortable 80 degrees, is large enough for six-lane competitive swimming. But on the whole, it is mostly used by those who like to splash about. The skating rink is the second largest in Britain. Not only is there plenty of space for family entertainment, it can also accommodate seven curling competitions at one and the same time. Many are the stances and styles of the expert curler, but you don't have to be an expert to enjoy it. Brushing is said to speed the stones, which are made of granite and can weigh up to 44 pounds apiece. To brush or not to brush is a matter of tactics decided by the captain. Curling was introduced to Scotland in the 16th century, probably from Holland, and is widely played on the continent and in Canada. The three-lane, nine-pin bowling alley is a good way to relax after a hard session on the ski slopes. And the great thing about this Scottish holiday centre is that you don't have to be an expert to enjoy it. You just try. The first uncertain venture onto skis can be undertaken on the centre's dry slopes. And there's always an expert on hand to help and an audience to enjoy the fun. But if you've reached that time of life when violent exercise fails to please, well, there are plenty of places to relax and enjoy some of the most beautiful scenery in the world. The Cairngorm area is one vast nature reserve, the only known British nesting place of the osprey. And it is this rare bird which takes pride of place in the centre's wildlife exhibition. For the evening, 700-seat luxury cinema is there to round off a busy day. Yes, there is something for everybody at the Aviemore Centre.
It is Scotland's snow that provides the main attraction and draws holidaymakers like a magnet to the ski runs of the Cairngorm Mountain. Early on the crisp, cool winter's mornings, all sorts and conditions of vehicles converge onto the mountain road. From Loch Morlich, the climb begins and the snow appears. This is Christmas card land, and it even includes the reindeer. This area possesses the only herd in Britain. The nucleus came from Sweden in 1952, and it became acclimatized quickly to its new surroundings. And here's comfort for the skiing tyros. Even a reindeer has to learn to keep its feet. They are friendly, timid creatures, except in the mating season, and find their own food even under the snow. And still the skiers come, now deep amid the whiteness of the high mountain. A chairlift takes them nearly 1,500 feet up to the top of the White Lady, 3,750 feet above sea level. On a fine day, you can see for an incredible distance. It travels over a mile, and on the way, you can look down on the early arrivals, knowing that soon you too will be joining in the fun. The central highlands of Scotland are a splendid setting for winter sports. At Glencoe, Glenshee, or in the Cairngorms, there are runs of 1,500 feet and over. Development of the area as a winter sports center began only 10 years ago, but already others are being planned. The chairlift is an exciting way to reach the top. It's an experience which never fails to please however many times you do it. Or you can hook yourself to one or all of the three T-bar toes, a pleasant way up for the more experienced. On the top, it's a fairyland world, remote and relaxing. It's easy to appreciate the attraction which winter sports hold for the enthusiast. Here again, there are instructors in plenty, all eager to help with your first tentative try. But it's not just a sport for the young. People who will never see 50 again have been known to become more than competent with only a few lessons. It all looks so very easy when you watch the experts, but is it? Oh well, a few bumps are part of the game, and it's well worth it in the end. Of course, you soon get the hang of it. Or do you? After a few lessons, you can go quite fast but it's just as well to know how the brake works. Yes, a sunny day in the Cairngorm Mountains is another world entirely, far away from the noise and smoke of the big cities and the pace of modern life. Even voices and laughter seem remote, and the cool swish of skis is the only sound of which you're aware. After the exhilaration of the run and the pleasant enjoyment of brief tiredness after exercise, there is plenty of après ski activity in the many hotels of the Cairngorm area. 
Never a night goes by without organized or impromptu entertainment. Yes, that's Scotland in the snow, remote from the cares of everyday life. 